for project three, one of the first things you'll need to do is incorporate a staircase in there because stairs take up a lot of room. And if you don't allow for that room, you'll find that you may not have enough space to put one in. Chapter 11 goes through all the different kinds of staircases and their sizes and dimensions of railings and such. So please read this. And on page 313, it goes through how to calculate how many risers you need and how many treads. This is what is meant by that. On a staircase, this is the riser this is the tread. The tread should be at minimum 10 inches deep and the riser should be no more than seven and three quarters inches tall. And there are formulas that exist for you to figure out if your risers and treads are appropriate. First, though, before I get into that, I want to show you how your stairs should look. If you draw a straight run stair, you would draw, well, for any stair, you draw half of it on the first floor and the other half on the second floor. On the first floor, the arrow says up, and on the second floor, you turn it around and it says down and you have a break line. If you put these two stair portions together, they should make one complete stair. So that is, you should be able to overlay your second floor onto the first floor and see one complete stair. Make sure you place the stairs so that you have enough room to access them. You need a minimum of 36 inches in front of the stairs, here and here. So let's go through this example of how to calculate how many stairs you need how high each riser should be, and how wide each tread should be. So first off, you need to know the total height of the distance from the first floor to the second. In my example, I'm using a total height of 11 feet 6 inches. I'm going to convert that into inches to make it easier to work with. So I'll multiply 11 by 12 and then to whatever I get I will then add 6. And in this case I get a total rise of 138 inches. So that was step one. For step two, I'll now calculate the number of risers needed and their height. First, assume a height of seven inches because seven inches is the ideal riser height. So I'm going to divide seven into 138. And this gives me 19.71 risers. Now, I can't use 19.71. I need an exact number. I need either 19 or I need 20. So which number would yield a riser height closest to 7 inches, the ideal height? Let's see. 19 into 138 is equal to 7.26. 20 into 138 
is equal to 6.90. So 20 looks the closest, although this is acceptable too. Either one of these will work, but we'll go with 20. So we have 20 risers and they are each 7.9 inches tall. Now I need, well that was step two. Now I need to do step three. Calculate the number of treads needed and their depth. So there's always one less tread than riser because the last tread is the second floor. So we're going to have 19 treads. How wide are they? There's a formula. R plus R plus T is equal to 25. So I'll plug in the riser height and solve for T. 6.9 plus 6.9 plus T is equal to 25. T is equal to 25 minus 6.9 minus 6.9. T is equal to 11.2 inches. So I've got 19 treads that are 11.2 inches wide each. Now I need to know how much space this will take up. That is the horizontal run with 20 risers and 19 treads at these sizes, how much space do I need? Multiply 19 times 11.2. That is 19 treads and they're each 11.2 wide. And you get 212 point eight inches needed. To make that a bit easier to understand, divide it by 12. And you get 17.73, let's just round it off to 18 feet. However, you need more than 18 feet because remember you need three feet here and you need three feet here. So you've got 18 feet plus six feet. So you need 24 feet total. Now what if you don't have enough room for that? Well then you can put in a different stair, such as a U stair. Now the U stair won't be exactly half the size because with a U stair, you'll need a landing, which needs to be a minimum of 36 inches. So what you would do is you would divide 24 by two, which is 12, and then you'd add three feet for a landing. So that means you would need 15 feet. You'd need 15 feet to put the U stair. And that's how you figure out how big your stairs are and how much room they'll take up. And again, do this at the very beginning of the project while you're bubble diagramming all the rooms.